made in Hollywood. Based on the popular young adult novel, Lana Condor stars as a teenage girl whose love life is spiraling out of control in the Netflix original movie, To All the Boys I've Loved Before. Hi, I'm Lana Condor. We are with Made in Hollywood, and here is a scene from To All the Boys I've Loved Before. My letters are my most secret possessions. I write them when I have a crush so intense, I don't know what else to do. There are five total. Peter, the most popular guy in school. Kenny from camp. Lucas from Homecoming, John Ambrose from Model UN, and Josh, but he's my sister's boyfriend. All of her love letters get sent out, so that's traumatizing. I could not even imagine. But yeah, she basically, her love letters get sent out and all chaos <laughs> comes crashing down on her. Can I talk to you? I, I really I appreciate it, but it's never gonna happen. I'm sorry, what? I think it's really cool that you think I have golden specks in my eyes. Oh my God, it's Josh. Oh my God. Oh, okay. The letters are out. Women. I think some of the strongest relationships start out as friendships. I love how they're both on the same team here too, because Peter's trying to get his ex-girlfriend jealous. And, and Lara Jean's trying to convince the other boys that she doesn't love them. Here's the thing. I had to make it look like I liked you so somebody else wouldn't think I liked them. What if we let people think that we were actually together? Let's do this. She has an amazing family, and I'm so happy that this film celebrates a good, supportive family because we need those role models, I think. Because oftentimes you see like all these crazy dysfunctional families and everyone, every family is a little dysfunctional in its own way, but I really appreciate that this movie is just a really solid, good, loving family. There's the family values in there where Lara Jean just needs to be open and honest with her family and they're ready to love her. She just needs to let it in. That's so beautiful, you know, because there are people that are ready to love you and sometimes you don't want it, so you're not gonna receive it. And then to the other theme in that, to not be afraid to love in the first place. Just don't hide yourself, okay, honey? You can't just sit up in your room writing love letters. I've never been on like any of those dating apps, but I think, I think you can pro, I bet you can meet some awesome people via social media, but it's just changed the game because your connection like is kind of, it starts on a screen. I don't know, I believe you can find love anywhere but it's different now. You gotta tell people how you feel when you feel it. I'm with you.